Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is officially November and this month is going to be beyond exciting. Not just because we have the ICB Summit on the 7th of November, which is only Monday, because it's Friday right now, um, but also because I have some very, very special guests joining me on the channel. So all of November, so literally every single day, there is going to be a special guest on the channel and they're going to demonstrate and showcase their software to you. So if you're somebody who is new in accounting and bookkeeping and in tax, um, so just the finance world um, altogether, you're gonna find this very interesting because they're going to show you um, what their um, applications can do and how they can support you as a bookkeeper or an accountant. So again, whether you're a student currently learning um, a certain system or you're somebody who's looking to open up your own practice or maybe you have your own practice right now and you're thinking about switching up in January or even now. So yeah, it's going to be a very, very exciting November and I've already seen a very sneak preview of some of these um, programs and software that is available and my mind is officially blown because as most of you know I started in the dark ages of accounting where it was all paper based and um, if there was a single change made in the software you would spend forever in a day just re-importing and preparing a set of financial statements, tax return, self-assessment return you name it, it was all really manual when we had the big red cash box and everything was, <laughs> was done on paper. So it's not the case anymore. And these days there's so much opportunity for you to expand upon the services that you offer because of these applications that are available and also for you to learn new technology, um, opportunity for you to streamline your processes, to save time for you, save time for the client. The list is absolutely endless and it's also really, really fun to see these um, applications see what they can do and yeah have a little play about with them so yeah that is going to be the whole of november the 7th will be the summit as i say the icb summit which i'm going to be filming a little bit of to give you a little bit of a sneak preview um hopefully so that should be out maybe the 9th when i return we'll see depend on my editing skills um, but otherwise let's jump into today's video so we're going to kick off Tech November with a very special company which is Taxstone so Taxstone were actually at the Manchester summit if um, you um, went to the account Tech north on that Wednesday um, in October I can't remember the exact date but they were there on one of the stalls and if you had um, the opportunity to talk to them then you'll know all about their system and the capabilities of their system but if you don't what their system is, is a CRM system. So if you don't know what CRM stands for, it just stands for Customer Relationship Management. So what Taxdome is, is it's an online platform for bookkeepers and accountants where you can manage your clients and manage your staff as well. So you've got workflows in there, you've got task lists, you've got email application. Um, the list goes on to be quite honest with you, but I think the best way of showing you what it can do is to give you my honest opinion. So we're going to go ahead and dive straight into Taxdome now and show you what my thoughts are. Okay, so all you need to do is just go to taxdome.com as we can see here. And in order to create a brand new account, we just need to sign up with Taxdome. So what we need to do is pop in an email address, make sure that you read the terms of service and privacy policy first. And then if you're happy, click on continue. So I'm just going to pop my details in here. So here we have some information, basic details about you and your firm. So we need first name, last name, phone number, firm name, firm size, what country, default currency and default language. So I'm just going to fill in all of that information now. And once you're happy, just click on this blue button here to continue. And here on this next page, it's asking us for some basic information about street address, city, postcode and firm phone number. So I'm just going to pop that information in here. So the final element here is we just need to make sure that we select a password to sign up to Taxdome and also we want to check that the um, URL that is um, created for us is what we want it to be. Now the final step here is it's sent a verification code to the email that you've popped in initially two pages back. So just want to go to your email and make sure that you get the verification code that has been sent to you and the email is going to look a little bit like this and there we go. As we can see on here immediately you've got a very very nice visually represented dashboard and instantly Taxdome 
is showing you here that we've got a little bit of free training. It's showing you that they've got an academy here where you can learn all the basics in under an hour, which is very, very useful. And then here we've got schedule one one white glove onboarding. So that's just um, where you can book a one to one in effect as soon as you sign up so that they can go through the onboarding process with you. And you can tick here to never show me this again. So this will continue to show until you decide that you don't want to see it anymore. So we're just going to click on X. So here at the top, we've got get started with Taxdome. So this here, again, I just find it very, very useful that they've instantly got information there to help you to learn Taxdome. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm trying to understand a new system or trying to implement new systems into my practice, sometimes either I just don't have time to learn a new software or the software that I'm trying to learn makes it very, very difficult for me to learn. And what I mean by that is sometimes they don't have you know, elements to show you what you need to do in order to get started on the software or they don't have YouTube videos available or they don't have any kind of support. So here, if we actually click down here onto this little magnifying glass, we've got an instant answer um, chat box in effect. So if we scroll down on here, we can see some common questions about the dashboard, signatures, CRM, email, your first week with tax dome onboarding checklist. So that's really useful. And down here, if there's something that you can't see, you can actually ask a question. And we can actually go on this ask a question here, where we can start a conversation by email or chat. So the difference between these two here is that this is going to give you some generic pointers, so to point you in the right direction. But if you find at any point that you're not sure you know, how to use the system or the, you're stuck on a question, you can then click on ask and go to email or on to chat. So definitely plus points for Taxdome at this point because again it's all very very useful and if we have a look quickly at the dashboard down here we can see that we've got an inbox so if we just click on that let's see what we've got so this would be if you've synced your email with Taxdome you can see all of the emails that have been sent workflow so again you've got a workflow we can create pipeline you can create jobs tasks etc which I'm going to go into detail in a later video just to show you exactly what you can do there. Clients, so when we've added clients onto here, we'll be able to see all the clients and we can at a later point filter on the services that we offer to them, etc. which again, I'm going to go into in a lot more detail later. This is just an introduction to Taxdome to begin with. So let's click on my favourite button here, which is the wiki page. So I'm really excited about this and it's a bit nerdy really, but what this page is is effectively a file or folder um, where you can put in all internal procedures, tips, guidance, etc., on various clients or, you know, sort of procedures to follow on those clients. And we can read a little bit more about this. So if we actually click on this magnifying glass down here and click on I'll type in wiki and go to basic here, it tells you that this is a space to create and store instructional pages such as onboarding and work procedures for your team. So it's a place that you can put all of your firm's internal cheat sheets in effect and any team member can create a wiki page and everyone has access to them. So in the past, I've banged on in the practices that I've worked for um, and those that I work with as a subcontractor now about making sure that you've got really strong policies and procedures. So if you use this wiki page to your full advantage, you can have a list of all of the policies and procedures to be followed on certain clients which will again reduce the number of questions asked within the firm, which will then enable individuals to work on jobs quicker. If you've got this page set up um, and anybody in the practice can add on to this at any time, create new pages, create new information, then it just means that you've got that there ready for anybody to refer to should you wish. But just as an example or you know recommendation, you could have AML policies and procedures, MLRR responsibilities etc. You could have um, the likes of how to onboard a client, how to add a client onto even Tatstone, how to add a client onto Sage, Zero, etc. Whatever um, piece of software you're using. But yeah, very excited about this page and I can see it's got a lot of potential. So let's move on to invoices. So here, if you've got any invoices, payments, etc., this is going to show on here. So you can very, very quickly add on invoices and start to get paid. And in here, you can also see any outstanding invoices and any payments that have been made by individual clients. So yeah, that's really useful. And I'd say again, 
What I like about this is that it's very straightforward. So you don't have to be somebody who's very, very good with software and to be somebody who is, you know, a systems accountant in order to learn and understand how to use Taxdome. It's actually very, very straightforward. So you can see everything that's available to you all in one place and all very much on your dashboard with this sidebar here. Now, if we just click on settings, just have a look at what this looks like. Here we've got quite a bit of information going on. So we've got information about practice, login details, two-factor authentication, and I recommend always, not just with Taxstone, but with any type of software that you're using where you're holding client data, make sure you turn on two-factor authentication. Okay, so this was just a very, very quick overview of what Taxstone looks like, what my first impressions are. So let's give this a rating. So first of all, in terms of ease of use, I'm going to give them a 5 out of 5. In terms of first impressions, again, they're going to score very highly here with a 5 out of 5 because it's very, very easy to navigate. You can see everything in one place. You don't have to go digging through the system to find what you need. In terms of the help guide functionality, again, they're going to score very highly here at 5 and there's actually another help guide tutorial and getting started functionality within Tatstone that I haven't even touched on yet. So we're going to do that in the next video. So they're going to get another 5 out of 5 here for that. And then in terms of the dashboard, again, I really like the look and feel of the dashboard. It's very clean. You can see where everything is. In settings, there's going to be a lot of items to cover and to review there because there is various functionality that you can set up in the background here. And it's quite honestly astonishing what it can do. So that's going to be in a later video. So overall, we get a shocking 5 out of 5 across the board of the four different categories so far. So I'm going to end the first part of this review here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you've got questions about Tatstone, then pop those in the comment section below. And I'm sure I can uh, reiterate those onwards for you. And I'm going to be having a look at Tatstone in a little bit more detail in later videos for you. So if there's something you want to see on there, or again, you've got other questions, then pop them below. Um, consider subscribing as always. Hit that like because it does help the channel to grow. And otherwise, I'll catch you at the next one.